Yep. Now, as for PSG, it is the trophy, isn't it, that's eluded them. Michael, did this just seem to sum up their, their luck or lack of luck in the Champions League? Yeah, will they ever win it, Rob? You can see Kylian Mbappe, I'm delighted he's joined us this morning. Looking at this stat, they had 44 shots against Borussia Dortmund over the two legs in this semi-final. It's the most shots a team has had without scoring in a two-legged UEFA Champions League tie on record since the 2003-04 season. They also hit the post six times over those two legs. And it is the end of Kylian Mbappe as far as PSG is concerned in the Champions League too, Michael. Yeah, I mean, this is his record as well, Rob. We know Kylian Mbappe and many other huge signings PSG made over this period. We know that they win domestic trophies, but it was all about the Champions League, wasn't it? And the closest they got was the runners-up uh, when they lost to Bayern Munich in the, um, the season where we... Uh, we had to stop the season due to COVID in the 2019-20 season. Round of 16, round of 16, that really much dominated it, apart from a couple of semi-finals. But he will be leaving without winning that Champions League. And he also said after that that they need to keep working, but it's just three more league games and a cup final before he's off. Will he be watching the Champions League in final in envy? especially if it's Real Madrid tonight. But this is what he said last night. It's sad because the lads tried to give everything. We worked hard, but we didn't succeed. We weren't effective in both areas. In the Champions League, in decisive matches, when you're not effective in both areas, it's difficult to hope to go through to the next round, especially when it's a final. So there you have it. We're disappointed. We can't throw everything away and we need to build on that to keep working. And I'm sure that will come. He is saying that, but he's probably got one eye on his next move, hasn't he? I would have thought so. I mean, yeah, inevitably, he's, uh, it's been this, kind of one of the stories of the season, hasn't it? What's, what's coming next with, uh, with Kylian Mbappe? I mean, you mentioned him watching the final in Envy. I'm sure he will be. You know, he, he's desperate to get that trophy, as everyone is at PSG. Um, it's been, a, it's been a, just a tournament that's given them so well, much misery, though, hasn't it? I mean, over the last few years, we saw their record. It's been really disappointing. Well, what is it? Is it? Is it a collection of stars who simply don't fit? Because there's no doubting the talent that they've had there over those years. Or is it the lack of fully competitive action week in, week out in Ligue 1? Because they, they're going to win it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean... They are in a fantastic position, and maybe in Mbappe's case that is the, that is true because he actually came into this game having only started one league game since the end of March. You know, PSG knowing he's going have been trying to prepare for his uh, his departure. I mean, I think it's it's probably more a case of the Champions League just being so competitive. You know, it's not necessarily the best teams who win it every year. You know, Dortmund in the final show that Manchester City's long wait to win the trophy under Pep Guardiola shows that. It is a really tough tournament to win, and in these knockout games, you know these the, those fine margins can can go against you. So um, you know, it's I think they've changed their direction, haven't they? Slightly, PSG. You know, we talked about them being a collection of stars previously. They have gone a different route with their squad building. They are putting more emphasis on on young players, and maybe that gives them some hope for the future. Maybe that. That's a, a more positive course for them going forward. But yeah, to, to be losing Mbappe and to have to try and replace a player of that quality is, is obviously a, adds to the pain of it all, doesn't it? Yeah, I, th I think PSG will be back in this, in this latter stage of the competition because, you know, as Nick says, there has been that clear change of direction. They've moved away from the Galactico side of things, of Messi, Neymar, etc. And they've built a lot of young French players. You look at the likes of Bradley Barcola um, as well, uh, youngsters from Europe as well, Vitinha, Nuno Mendes, Gonzalo Ramos, all those 24 and under. So there's a clear project there. And this experience will be a learning curve for those young players, which they can take into future Champions League campaigns. I love the use of the, of the phrase, the lads, from <laughs> Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> Sounds like a typical English thing, les gars, yeah. it is in <laughs> French. Uh, the lads, uh, unlucky for the lads, les gars, wonderful. So will it be...